So let's talk about lag, because this is an area that you need to know, and there is a little bit of a misconception over exactly what you should be doing. So once upon a time, it was thought that, you know, to start the downswing, you really want to sort of drive the hands forward, similar to what I'm demonstrating here, to be able to create lag. And then more recently, we've kind of realised that's not quite the case, and actually the idea is that your, your right arm should sort of straighten as you initiate the downswing, and you shouldn't try to hold on to lag or create lag. But then when we look at the pros, we kind of see the way that they, they don't obviously move like this in the start of the downswing they get the hands working on what would be known as a, a narrowing hand path right so what I mean by this is we know the pros will take the club back and the hands will work nice and wide away from the body and then as they come in towards the downswing the hands work on a narrower hand path than the one that it went back on however the question ultimately is what is happening and what you want to do is you want to focus very much on your lower body. So if I was getting set up to hit a golf ball down in this direction from, from here, in the back swing position, what will happen is I will uh, rotate, but can you see the way I allow my pelvis to move towards my right side? Okay, so you can see if I divided myself into symmetry, the way I let my pelvis move to the right. So as I come in towards this downswing position, what needs to happen is my pelvis needs to move to the left. So as I allow my pelvis to move very much to the left, as you can see here, this produces what would be known as a tilt. So as I produce this type of motion, you can see the way my left hand comes in. If I'm somebody who hangs on the back leg like this, so I meet some people that try and, you know, just sort of drop their right shoulder down to initiate the down, so you can see my hand doesn't move. If I'm somebody who just sort of spins out, see again, my hand doesn't move. If I move my pelvis in a fashion where it kind of moves to the left in a rotational manner, in a sort of tilted manner, you can see the way my hand starts to move inwards. Now, the question would be, what do you do with that information? Well, listen, this is the reason why I teamed up with the Swing Buddy, because we've got a few other designs and, and training aids that I'm going to be working on with them to help online students, right? I work with a lot of online students and quite often I'm trying to get a student to do these types of movements, right? And sometimes focusing on pelvis into leg isn't always the most free-flowing move. So what I do is I get them to swing a bit of a rope. If you move a bit of rope left hand only and you get this sort of movement like this, this is not right. You get the feeling of retracting that left shoulder. See my hand goes nice and high left shoulder goes back and behind my head, and this means my pelvis is moving correctly. See what I'm doing here? So it's not this move, it's not just a chest move, it's not no rotation. See the way my hands go up the plane line? And that means that my pelvis moves this way, and if I hold this rope, you can see the way as I do that, my hand comes in on a narrowing path, and that's how you're gonna create lag. So the weird thing is, the way you actually create lag is very much due to how your pelvis moves. I'll see you soon.